Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to add the Jump Boost Power Up. So yeah, let's get started. First, you want to go to the uh, link in the description that will take you to my Google Drive, and from there you want to go to the props and you want to download the Jump Boost folder. Okay, after that you want to go back to the Endless Runner resources. Re I don't, cannot pronounce that resources. And you want to go to the icons and you want to download the jump boost icon file. Okay, let's go back to the Unreal Engine. And here you want to go to the icons folder and you want to import the icon file. So icons and the jump boost icon PNG. Like that. After that, you want to go back to the blueprints and you want to go to the uh, models and you want to import the jump boost uh, folder. Okay. Oh, I actually imported it to the roads. I didn't want to do it like that. Okay, so let's move it to the models. Okay, now we have the jump boost here. Let's open it. Let's open the source. Okay, now we have to create the material for it. So let's right click and create a new material. Let's call it jump boost mat, like that. Let's open it. Now let's keep the tree pressed on our keyboard and left click. So we get this constant tree vector. Let's connect this uh, pin to the base color. Let's change this color to some shade of yellow. So something like that. Okay. Let's apply and close this. Now let's open the jump boost static mass and let's select the jump boost material like that. Okay. Now let's say close and let's go to back to the blueprints. And here we want to go to the interactables and we want to duplicate this coin magnet. Let's duplicate it and let's call it jump boost. Like that. Now let's open it. Let's go to the viewport. Here we have this magnet and magnet one mesh because our magnet was uh, had two parts so we can actually delete this magnet one so this from here and now we can change this magnet mesh to the jump boost jump boost like that and now I think we actually have to move it upwards a little bit so um, I think it should be at 75 Set, set 75 like that. Okay, and now we want to go to the event graph, and here where we add the power up, or we call the add power up function, we want to change this index to one like that. And we can compile, we can save, and we can close. Now we want to go back to the blueprints, we want to go to the HUD, and we want to go to the power up slot. Okay, here on the power up slot, we want to go to the graph. And here at the beginning we have this select node, and here on index, select on index uh, option one. Let's change it this to the jump boost icon, okay, like that. Let's compile. We'll save. We can close this. Now we want to go to the blueprints and to the BB third person character, okay. And what we want to do here now is we want to go to this add power up function and here at the end we actually sorry we actually have to create a new function so let's call it set power up stats okay now let's add a input to here let's change the type to integer let's call it index like always let's compile save and let's go back to the Add power up, and I will actually move this event graph to here. Let's go back to the add power up, and here at the end, we want to call this set power up stats like that. Now we want to get this index from here and connect it also to the index. Let's add a reroute, like always, so it looks a little bit better. Okay, and here on set power up stats, what we want to do, we want to get from the index, we want to switch on 
integer, so switch on int, like that. We want to add two pins, so pin 0 and pin 1. The 0 is for the uh, coin magnet and 1 is for the jump boost, okay? Uh, we don't have to add anything to the 0, at least yet. But to the 1, what we want to do is we actually want to get our power-ups. We want to get from it, get a reference, and we want to change this integer to 1. Okay, now we want to also get our character movement here, and we want to uh, jump, set, set, jump, set, velocity, like this. Okay, let's connect it to the 1. Like that. And now, what we want to do is... Oh, why did I... There, okay. Let's move this a little bit further. And we want to get from the jump set velocity. And we want to select float. Like this. Now we want to connect this to the pick A. So if our power up uh, jump boost is true, then we want to set uh, this jump set velocity to this A value. So let's put 900 there. And to the B, let's put 700, which is actually the jump set velocity base default value, like that. Okay. Let's compile, let's save. And now what we want to do here after this is oh we actually want to go to the HUD uh, to the player HUD so let's go back to the top map to the HUD folder and to the player HUD let's go to the graph and here on the remove power up function which you can find from here what we want to do here now is we want to get from the player ref and we want to set power uh, power up stats like this. Let's call it after the set array element. Now let's add a reroute node to here. And actually let's move it further down. Let's move this to here. This. Now we want to add a reroute to this index. And we want to get from it, connect it to here. Let's add yet another reroute to here. Like that. Okay. Okay, this is actually not looking that good. Let's move this a little bit. Okay, it's looking better, I think. Hmm. Oh shit. What I'm doing. <laughs> okay, it's looking better. So we just want to call this set power up stats after this uh, after we have set the array element back to false. Okay, let's compile, save, and let's actually go and try. Oh, we have to add it to the map first. So let's go to the interactables. Let's get the jump boost to here. Let's play. Oh, <laughs> I missed it. So let's move it a little bit further. Let's try again. So, okay, we get the power up icon. And we jump a lot higher. Okay, it seems to work. Let's see when it goes off. Now we only jump to here. Okay, and let's actually oh one more thing we have to do if you get this error is you want to go to the bb third person character and to the power ups and you want to add another uh index here so you have index zero and index one you don't have to change anything just add it okay let's compile save and let's try that the both of the icons work at the center yeah they are actually working one thing i actually want to change from here because they're not looking that good right now. So let's actually go back to the player HUD and to the designer. And here on the power up grid, what we want to do here is we want to go to the slot padding and we want to add a 10 units to the bottom padding like that. Okay, let's compile, save, and let's try again. And as you can see, we have a little gap in between. But yeah, it's actually looking pretty good already. And all the power-ups work and stuff like that. So yeah, if you have some good ideas, let me know in the comments. And also, if you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe for more. Yeah, 
And yeah, hope, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.